Holy salute, brothers and sisters. I got a good one for you. And, uh, well, the word of the Lord is a good one for you. Um, Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 through 23. Well, we're going to focus in on just 22. And actually one piece of fruit that a believer is supposed to have and will have if the Holy Spirit is in them. <clears throat> it says Galatians 5 and 22, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Now before all of this, it talks about the works of the flesh. And uh, right here, this is where we want to focus. Right here, this long suffering. You could suffer, you could long suffer, and you can short suffer. I want to show you something. Now watch this. Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. This is 22 and 23. I don't know what that's about. But anyway, um... Then came Peter unto him, then came Peter to him, and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him till seven times? That's the man's thinking, right? Or one time. Jesus saith unto him, Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee seven, until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Now, if you go back to this, you got long suffering. And to Jesus, that's what long suffering is. Now, somebody might say that that's uh, 70 times 7 a day. And maybe it is, and maybe it isn't. But the point is, if that's in a lifetime, that's still a lot of sins against your brother. And you're supposed to give them if it's 7 or 70 times 7, or if it's one or none. Well, of course, if there's none, you can't forgive. Now, that's your brother. Watch this. Long-suffering and forgiving to everybody. Now, watch this. Long-suffering is to the brotherhood. Watch this one I'm trying to tell you. Romans chapter 8. But, verse 9, But ye are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit. If so be that the Spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Get that now. He's none of his. Okay. So if you're not in Christ, if you don't have his Spirit, then you're not a brother. And you don't have to suffer them long. In fact, I could give you one better than that. You don't have to suffer them long. Watch this. But you, sh you should forgive them anyway. Psalm 1 and 1. Watch this. Watch this now. Psalm 1 and 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Hmm. Having not God's spirit, ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, a sinner man is not saved, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Now, a scorner can be a brother. A scorner can be somebody who offends you 70 times seven in a day. But the other two are not, and you don't have to suffer those long. Okay. And uh, what I'm trying to say is forgive everybody. Long suffer with the brethren, but to those that you need to clean out of your life and get out of your life, God will show you uh, who and when to uh, get them out and if they be brothers or not, because they'll have fruit and uh, they will love you. And they will do what the Bible says. And they won't just... Uh, Get offended once and write you off. But there will be long-suffering time after time after time. If you're a brother and they're a brother 
or you're in the family of God and they're in the family of God. I hope this makes sense to you. Um, there have been many people who uh, come over here and cause trouble on the channel. And I will immediately block them. And people say, why didn't you suffer along with him? You're supposed to suffer along with your brother. That's not my brother. If it was a brother in Christ, they would have acted like Christ. If you're not Christ-like, you're not a brother. You see. There goes that. You see Smith uh, Lester Summerall again. It's late. And uh, it's late. And I'm doing this video, this final video. Too late. How about that? I said it's late. Holy salute, brothers and sisters. Keep looking up. The time is at hand.